for such a long time and I'm just beside myself. It's back, the mammoth epic Layla Land Primark haul, yay! Um, these are always my favourite shopping trips to do, my favourite videos to film, um, some of my most viewed videos are the Primark hauls that I've done and I'm also super excited because this is this year's first proper autumn shop. I'm sure there'll be a million more shopping trips related to autumn, but this is like my first big autumn themed, with autumn in mind, splurge. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Um, if you're new around here, please do go and subscribe, actually, if you're new and you haven't already. But if you've been around for a bit, you will know that autumn and winter are mine. This is my time, this is my season, I am so excited. The colours, the colours, the textures, the temperatures, <sighs> my skin goes better, my hair goes better, everything goes better. The makeup colours suit me better, the makeup styles suit me better, the bobble hats, oh the bobble hats, oh we love the bobble hats, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so basically when is a primer the other week for something and nothing, looked over <gasps> they've got autumn stuff in so basically did what i had to do went back yesterday raided the place so this is what i got for this this particular autumnal primark haul please do go and get yourself a snack please do go and get yourself a drink please do make sure you have subscribed this is free entertainment people what more do you want um and we will get cracking oh. okay first out of the bag and I think I'm just going to live in this for autumn. I can just see it happening that this is just going to be just me. Okay, um, so we've got, so we've got this absolutely ridiculously soft chenille long hooded cardigan. Look at it. It's so cool. It's almost like a big long cape. It's just, it's just oversized and soft and cosy and what more do you want for autumn i did get a black one for my eldest as well but he snaffled that so i can't show you that one but it does come in black so there you go so this was 13 pounds and oh my god oh it's got pockets it's got pockets how to make everything infinitely better stick pockets on it <gasps> yes it's got pockets oh my god how brilliant is this gonna be to just throw on to just like cozy up in, go for a little wander outside. Well, you know when it's like that autumn when it's like sunny and it's a little bit chilly, but it's not like freezing. It's not quite big coat weather yet. Long cardi instead. <gasps> very excited, very excited. Do you want me to split these in? Hello. Hi. Uh oh, you're not talking to me? Are we not speaking? Hello. What? What? I think he's not talking to me. <laughs> oh, that is quite a sulk, that is. Um, shall I split into categories? Shall I? Do you want home and clothing? I'll do that for you. Bear with. Bear with. Okay, next I went for some lovely little underwear situations. Um, I have a very specific colour palette throughout autumn and winter, throughout the summer as well but it mainly goes out the window in summer and I usually just wear what I can cope with not boiling to death in. That's usually how I do it in summer. Um, autumn and winter though, very specific colour palette. I like neutrals, I like creams, I like browns, I like leopard print, love me a leopard print. Um, I like um, burgundy, khaki, bit of a like muted raspberry red, sort of burgundy raspberry kind of situation what's this um and like a dusky pink and a gray dusky pink and gray all year round but it does go with the autumnal palette as well so yeah found this little stone sort of a burgundy raspberry leopard print underwear situation had to had to <sighs> things are like oh how much were they they were eight pounds for three brassiers i mean Marvellous. Love it. Um, okay, so I'm so excited. 
<laughs> I just love it as soon as I see anything remotely autumnal. It just makes me the happiest person ever. Um, so then I found these charming pants, but they're like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? They're like your tartany, burgundy, pink, white, grey, like a bit or me. Do you know what I mean? Is it a tartan? Can I call it a tartan if it isn't on a kilt? Is that acceptable? Shall I just call it a check? It's not a check though, is it? What pattern would you say this was? <laughs> How did I bring up two humans successfully? How? Um. Anyway, so very excited. Very, very like baggy looking, like slouchy, comfortable, lasticated, lovely little bow on it um but <laughs> how cute are these how cute are these they've got little frilly elasticated cuffs on the bottom of them <laughs> i just can't i just can't deal with them they're so cute do apologize my camera just went a bit weird then so if you're not quite at the same zoomage that you were i'm sorry but there we go i've done my best I'm trying to keep you quite zoomed out though so you can see things when I hold them up because if I zoom you in like much closer you can only see about this much of the items so there we go so yeah I'm loving these these are a size small which says it's a UK 10 to 12 um you girls got a lot of junk in the trunk so I always tend to go um larger on the bottom than I do on the top but also I think a comfy pair of pajamas you need to have room in do you know what I mean you need slouching Tying yourself in knots on the sofa it doesn't look comfortable, but oh my god, it's the most comfortable you've ever been in your life type situations in front of the telly with a box of chocolate. Do you know what I mean? That's like autumn winter to me. Big tub of celebrations, call the midwife, comfy pajamas. You need room, you do. So I got them. Uh right, we wanted clothing, didn't we, first, so bear with. Where do you see this? It's so cute. Look at that! It's just the cutest little wool skirt. There's no like structure to it. Do you know what I mean? It's like just a really soft um, design skirt situation. Um, but oh my god, it's like super soft wool. Like again, what voodoo? I've got Italian. What voodoo is going on at Primark? Because everything is like mega soft. Like you will never get it softer ever. Not happening. Um, so yeah, I got that one. And we all just love a little, oh, I smacked myself in the face with that one. Um, just a little burgundy skirt. Do you know what I mean? With some like black knee boots, chunky tights, bit of a sweater or a shirt or a, you know, whatever you want really on top. I just think they look so cute. Oh my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. <sighs> I'm so excited. Okay. So this was 10 pounds. Oh my God, oh my God, I had to get these. I know they're not very autumnal because sunglasses. However, you do get, you know, your low winter sun and your autumn weather can be very bright and sunny. And they were already a pound. <gasps> Look, how cute are these? I'm gonna have to take this sticker off though because I want to put them on and I know I'm gonna stab myself in the face. Um, ooh. So they were on sale, they were three pounds, but they were down to one pound. And there was only one pair, so I had to. Look at them! They're leopard print, beautiful little kitty cat style sunglasses! Oh, elixir, 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 elixir! So, you know, you're doing your browns and your, your, your stone and your, you know, your just fabulous business round autumn. You want to go out for a little autumnal walk, maybe check the Labrador out with you, even though he's sulking and not talking to you. Then, you know, if it's a bit sunny, you just stick your leopard print sunglasses on, don't you? Don't you? You do? No, you do. I do. <sighs> Look at this one! Oh my God, I really wish you could actually reach through and just feel this because it's so soft. It's so soft. It's so so soft it's gorgeous a luke sort so this is your kind of stony colored oatmeal almost um cardigan i think it's got pockets it's got pockets um it's got your little tie situation i usually do take those off because it, it, they usually do annoy me and um i either get them caught on the door handle which is so annoying or like it'll just slip out and i'll lose it so i usually do just take the belt oh situation off um 
but yeah just a big old soft comfy again oversized oversized to me means comf i mean i'm only five foot tall so everything's oversized really <laughs> um so yeah that just to me i just can't wait to get snuggled up in it and then you're a bit cold and you think oh it's cold today i'll go and put a cardi on that one oh you i love you so much look at this how autumnal okay so can you see it's got like the dog tooth print on there um we've got the keyhole situation fastening at the back um and just you know your typical kind of box long sleeved top really that will go with anything absolutely anything um i've got some stone colored like trousers i've got brown trousers i've got black trousers we'll go with all of those these kind of things are so simple but so easy to like dress up dress down cash oh i've got dressed shall we go out actually oh hang on a minute let me just tweak my outfit a little bit perfect and i just think how very autumnal <laughs> love it so he was eight pounds um so yeah elixir oh my god i love doing primark hauls so much <gasps> right okay so that's not clothes that's not clothes do handbags count as clothes i mean the the, the fashion aren't they so they'll go in the same camp okay um right so i like a large bag in autumn winter summertime i can't be bothered with anything i hate summer with a passion spring not so bad spring's a bit cooler and i feel like after winter it's quite nice seeing the sun and seeing the color coming back with the little crocuses and the little daffodils coming up summer hate it can't stand it don't like it does nothing for me i get nothing out of it don't like it um so the fact that i then feel like i have to lug loads of stuff around as well i'm not into it in summer not into it so i carry around the smallest amount of anything i can possibly carry around autumn winter however a leaks a massive bag that i can fit snacks in that i can fit like me makeup to touch up because again summer i don't like walking around in makeup either because it just melts off my face and i don't like it the colors don't particularly suit me whereas in winter I can get me dramatic on, I can have my burgundy, I can have my burgundy lips, I can have gold, I can have browns, I can just be a bit more dramatic, which does mean I carry it around with me to touch it up throughout the day. Um, excuse me. Also, sometimes during autumn, you might want to just carry a little light jacket or a little cardigan or something with you. So we need a large bag, girls, or boys, or, you know, neither or all there we go um so yeah i got this one which i just think is such an autumnal very cute but very classy pattern on there it's almost like the dog teeth but like blown up and a bit of a grid around the squares go with me um so yeah i love that one it's just got your full leather brown straps on as well um and oh my god the room inside it is ridiculous it's huge oh i've got some pockets as well lovely couple of pockets there we've also got a zipped pocket there as well but yeah just the amount of space in there is incredible i've just noticed as well it's got these ear tassels that you can pull down and then the side of it opens up and makes it even bigger <gasps> oh my god i see no mess <sighs> wait for this one though just wait <gasps> look what i got Honestly, I'm obsessed. If there's anything leopard print, please let me know because I flipping love leopard print. I think leopard print is my nude. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. I love it so much. Um, did you see on Instagram? I'd like painted my eyelids leopard print and everything whilst I was on holiday, <laughs> as you do, um, <clears throat> and stuff. So yeah, I got him. Isn't he fun? So if I want to dress up my handbag a little bit, maybe I'm going out for a posh meal or something, and I feel like, you know, whacking the Bet Lynch out of it. I think you have to be, I th was that the most northern thing I've said? I feel like whacking the Bet Lynch out. I really hope that's not like some weird euphemism, Cockney rhyming slang for something. Bet Lynch was basically a character in Coronation Street during the 80s and wore nothing but leopard print. She was fabulous. Um, so yeah, we've got him. So we've got one of the straps is just your all the way around full leather leopard print 
Um, and the other one of the straps has got your full leather, leather leopard print, but also a little bit of a gold chain at the bottom. <gasps> I know, very posh. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. You're doing well. You're doing well. Do you need to stop for like a bro top up or anything? Are we all right? Okay. I think now we're on to homeware and beauty. So let's just do it, shall we? Oh, hi, Lumos. How are you? Hello. You come to see what's going on? Then I went and got myself a new sheet. Um, I'm actually looking to upgrade my bed this year, so I desperately need a new mattress. Oh my God, this mattress is killing me. I have horrific joints that kind of dislocate and they're overstretchy and they hurt. Um, and this mattress offers me no support whatsoever. Um, so it just hurts. I wake up every morning with like a really bad hip and a bad back and like my knees are hurting and I feel like I'm about 102. Um, so I'm going to be treating myself later in the year to um, a new like proper good mattress and I'm considering um, getting a bigger bed as well. So I don't really want to be buying loads of bedding that I'm then just going to have to replace with bigger bedding later in the year but I did need new sheets. Because for some reason, you know like you lose socks when they're in the wash and you, you put a pair in, you get one back. I've kind of done a bit like that with sheets. I can't find any sheets apart from the one that's on my bed, which doesn't help when it's wash day. So I went and bought a new one and I got myself a navy blue one. I love Primark bedding. It's the softest and I swear to God, it gets softer every time you watch it. Watch it, wash it. Do you know there's something cute when I pull that face? Where do you see this as well? It's so cute. Okay, so... What is more autumn, winter, snuggly goodness than a hot water bottle? I mean, come on. And it's a furry leopard print one. It's so soft. It's ridiculous. I really love it. And I love its little pom-poms. So cute. I've got a little pusheen hot water bottle that Paul bought me, which I really, really love. Pusheen is just my idol. I love Pusheen. She's so cute. Um, but then I figured as well, you know, you can't go wrong with a leopard print one either, can you? <gasps> I love it so much. Sunday night, middle of winter. Your box of celebrations you call the midwife on. <laughs> I just love it so much. Okay, what's next? Ooh! Housey scenty things, right? Marvellous. So a big thing for me in autumn winter is candles. I mean, I have candles going all year long anyway because I do like my house to smell nice. I have teenagers, I have two cats and I have a dog. The house needs to smell nice. I mean, it, you know what I mean? Could easily go downhill. Um, so loves me a candle, um, but there's just something about winter there's just something about winter and it going dark and you're getting the fairy lights on and you're getting your candles on and it's just i just love it it's just so cozy um so i've got two of these which are the clean cotton uh scented candles from primark they do um reed diffusers they do different types of candles they do pillar candles all in different scents clean cotton is one of my favourite scents on anything. If I see this as a scent on a fabric conditioner, on an air freshener, on a plug-in, on anything, I just love it. I just think, oh, bye Leonard. I just think it's just the freshest, nicest scent. It's an easy scent to, to have going. So yeah, I love that one. So I've got two of those and they were £2.50 each. Oh. There went the little card saying what the scent was, but there we go. Then I got these, which are um, the soft jasmine ones. So these are the grey pots with the gold writing as well. And smell, oddly, of jasmine. I know, who'd have thunk? Total shock. <laughs> then, sticking with housey fragrancey kind of situations, I got these. Um, I did get some of these in... Was it this summer or last summer? Basically, you take the plastic wrapper off and the thing inside is scented. So you just hang these wherever, in your wardrobe. I hang them on the curtain rails in like the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, and they just give off the nicest scent. So these are soft cashmere. Mm, very bush, I know. Um, so these are cashmere and vanilla flower and they set, <laughs> they scent, they smell gorgeous. Oh god, I can't describe it. It's it's like it's a little bit like a posh spa. 
scent. Do you know what I mean? You know, you go in a posh bar and they give you a facial and a massage and it's just beautiful. That's what it reminds me of. It's that kind of like fresh, expensive smelling fragrance. But it's not expensive because it's from Primark. So these were $1.50 each. Um, housey bits sticking with. I've just managed to get this off my eldest, um, who loves Harry Potter, is a raging Hufflepuff. Um, so we got this, which is just very cute. So it's a Hufflepuff um, cushion. I love how well filled Primark cushions are. They're amazing. So this says dedication, patience, loyalty. And it's got the uh, the badger situation there. And then on the other side, it's got the crest um, and a bit of a different design. And um, Ruben's room is kind of, the theme of it is Hufflepuff common room. It's like yellows and greys and whites and looking all fresh and fabulous. Um, so that goes really well in there. How much was he actually? He was six pounds. Right, on to a couple of beauty bits now and then that's it. Can you believe we've nearly done? Um, so then I got a couple of packets of these, which I love. Bought a packet of these. Um, I can't remember when, but oh my God, they're incredible. So you basically, can you see the curve of them? There's like two different sizes, the small ones and bigger ones there. And you basically attach them, they're just adhesive little pads. You just attach them to either side of your eye there, do your makeup, peel them off, they're really gentle, they're really nice on your eye, they don't pull, they don't, they don't stretch out your eye or anything. And you're just left with the crispest, nicest like line ever of eyeshadow so good um obviously i've not used one today but there we go um but yeah they are so good so if that's kind of something you use i can highly recommend these i do like as well the different sizes because you can get kind of different angles and different finishes with them and these are one pound fifty each and um there are 30 in each pack which is just ruddy marvelous so i went and picked up a couple of those then I picked up a couple of palettes, which I don't think I need any more palettes. And I will be honest, I have been a little underwhelmed by a couple of Primark palettes in the past, but these actually look really good and the formula looks a bit different as well. So I'm very, very excited to try these. So I got the Dark Wonder eyeshadow palette, which has got um lovely little oh it's got not got a mirror <gasps> i just assumed it would have a mirror so it says dark wonder again why do we need dark wonder on there and then dark wonder on there as well surely a mirror would have been better okay anyway um but it's got some gorgeous shades in it and i do love a dark dramatic eye look especially in autumn and winter i've got a gorgeous matte black there and the and then this one just looks so intriguing. This is like um, like a really dark navy blue, but it's got the navy blue shimmer in it as well. <gasps> Can't wait to try that one. Then we've got like a, it looks quite foily green and blue there. Um, but anyway, that was four pounds. We'll report back, obviously. Um, this one is so exciting. Let me see if I can actually open the plastic packaging on it because, oh my God, you need to see the shades inside it. So this is the Leopard Lux palette. Obviously my eye was drawn to it being leopard print, but then I looked inside it and thought, oh, hello. So we do have a mirror in this one, which is very, very wonderful. Um, and we've just got the nine, the grid of nine eyeshadows. Please can I just point out this green here. I mean, just look at it. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. But oh my God, this copper and this green. <gasps> I can't wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, that was one of those where I was like, oh, leopard print, that's cute. Oh, oh, I need to own it. I need it. So in the basket, this went and he was four pounds as well. So there we go. I've just seen that there's a plastic thing that went in with the um, leopardy print eyeshadow grid situation. And I've just seen that they've called the dark brown shade blackout. It's not black, but okay. I love it. I'm so excited. So that was it. Let me know what your favourite item was. Let me know if you're going to go and pick up any of these. Let me know if you've got any. Let me know if you're a fellow autumn winter enthusiast and whether you're looking forward to our favourite season coming back. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah. 
that's it really so go and give this video a massive thumbs up it would mean the world if you could support me even more sorry to ask more of you um but give it a big thumbs up make sure you go and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought um make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already why wouldn't you it's flipping hilarious it's like free entertainment who doesn't need an overexcited northerner in the life once a week i mean you know why would you not subscribe so go and subscribe please make sure you share this channel with all of your friends go and tell everybody about this wonderful magic place you found called Layla Land and I will see you in my next video make sure you remember I love you this much from here all the way around the world and back to here again have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing and I will see you next time bye